This is indeed an exciting day for football in Tasmania. We are a football mad state and the passion shown by Tasmanians across the state in the last few weeks is evidence of this. With this two game deal per year for three years, it's time now to harness this passion and show the rest of the country how important the game is to Tasmanians. The economic benefits of AFL games are well documented. We know from our 10 year relationship with Hawthorne that football can play a vital role in boosting the economy, particularly during that slow winter period. Research undertaken on the Hawthorne program has shown that it injects $4 million of direct economic benefit per game into the Tasmanian economy. Further research has shown that an estimated 400 jobs are created over the life of the program. Average game attendance was 15,000 in 2010, with survey results showing that over 30% of those attending the games were from interstate. A further 89% of interstate respondents stated that the game was their primary reason for travel. Anyone who's been to Launceston on a game weekend and has experienced the buzz and the vibrancy it creates in the quiet winter period would also understand that none of these survey results are any myth. It has also been shown to grow grassroots football participation, as well as improve access for more Tasmanians who may otherwise not be able to travel interstate to see elite AFL football being played here. However, in considering the funding deal with North Melbourne over recent weeks, I decided that we could not justify spending additional money from the state budget at a time when we're asking all departments, including health and education, to find significant savings. But I was not prepared to see this opportunity disappear, which is why I spoke to a number of businesses last week, including the TT line, who were impressed by the commercial potential of this deal for their business. So today I'm extremely pleased that we've been able to reach an outcome that's not only good for local businesses and the wider Tasmanian economy, but is also a natural fit with TT Line's core business strategy to attract visitors on the spirit of Tasmania 1 and 2. It's important to remember that while TT Line is a GBE, it is a commercial entity that drives its own revenue and has its own marketing budgets to achieve this. It is not funded by the taxpayer, nor does it provide a dividend to the government. This opportunity to help support the two game deal was recognised by the TT Line Board as an excellent chance to leverage the AFL market to increase visitor numbers to Tasmania in those quieter winter months. The reality is that the strength of the Australian dollar is hurting tourism in, in Tasmania. But this is a unique opportunity to be able to leverage a niche tourism market. Since the publicity around this deal, my office has received a number of emails from North Melbourne supporters in Victoria wanting to combine a trip to Tasmania with seeing their game play, so they're ready to come. We've not had to put one dollar from the consolidated fund into this deal either, neither have we lost one dollar through this deal either. So this has been a, a really very much a win-win for the TT line, a win-win for the state government and most importantly a win for the broader Tasmanian community. <laughs>